Hi Aquarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. There are timestamps available for you in the comment section as well as the description box. So if you would like to skip ahead at any time, you can do so. We're going to start with whatever comes out. These are important messages for your sign at this time. First card coming out is fear. We have strength, okay. Along with reflection. I need more clarity on this fear card. At the bottom of the deck, we have consciousness. There could be some subconscious uh, fears coming out at this time, okay? Uh, you could be reflecting on something from the past, but let me, I would like to, I would like to get more clarity. The Empress in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse. Because some of you guys are having some very vivid dreams okay that's the first message i'm getting and i'm getting like there could be something definitely something buried in your subconscious here uh, a fear of not growing with the empress a fear of not moving forward with the knight of cups okay tell me about this fear card the star aquarius energy The best way I can put this, Aquarius, is it feels like there is something that still needs to be healed, okay? I know we do a lot of healing, and, you know, we, of course, should be living our life, and we shouldn't always be focused on healing, 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 you know? We shouldn't, at least in my book. I'll never tell you to uh, unpack and live in this energy where there's constant healing, constant improving, co you know, I'll never do that. Because, I mean, for the rest of our lives, we will be healing from things. That's just the facts of living in this world. However, there's an important message coming out for you right now. And it's talking about your a fear of a dream not manifesting. A wish not coming true. You could be putting some negative energy onto something here. The star, fear... Fearing not finding your purpose or fearing not finding a place in the world. Fearing not making a name for yourself for some of you. I'm going to move past that. There could just be some healing that needs to happen for you in November, okay? And I feel like the things that you are fearing, these are things that are holding you back from your purpose, from making a name for yourself, from living out your full potential. Fear really stunts growth, okay? And ironically enough, it's the things we fear that once we overcome those fears, once we take a leap of faith into the unknown or into the fear, we find a life full of purpose and satisfaction and we find ourselves, actually. Okay, the star card, this is your energy. Why the strength card? Okay, the hermit in reverse. Nine of pentacles, and then the high priestess. So the veil is very thin. In November, I'm getting a strong sense of intuition for you in November. Really being able to see things possibly that others cannot see. But it's almost this energy of feeling alone in the physical realm. But feeling supported, okay, with the strength card, it's, it's almost like you may not feel supported by people in the physical, but there are many in the spiritual that are supporting you and supporting what it is you're doing. And for a lot of you guys, you're overcoming a fear in the month of November. Okay, that's for sure what I'm getting. And I am getting, you could be feeling the strength in your, the strength in your team, your spiritual team. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit in Reverse, you're definitely standing out. You're standing out. But you may not be getting supported the way you want to get supported in the month of November. And this could also be a fear of yours. But there's an energy here of you having to face that fear that you're not always going to be supported. 
by those in the physical, but it's about moving forward with it anyway, because it's an inner knowing with the high priestess, the star, that this is your purpose, that this is what you're meant to do. Virgo energy, Pisces energy. Why reflection? Okay. Eight of Swords. Ugh, you know, taking a look at yourself, really, okay? And I'm also getting reflect on your insecurities. What? Why are you insecure about something, okay? Now, we all get insecure about things. That's the facts of being a human. Every human being has insecurities, okay? And sometimes we overcome those insecurities and they come right back, right? It's just the facts of life. However, in your reading, there is an important insecurity, is insecurity of yours that your guys are wanting you to reflect on. You know, they were calling me to do your message tonight, and now I see why. It's a very important message for you, Aquarius. Reflect on the things that could possibly be holding you back. Now, the Eight of Swords is that card of self-imposed cages, a mental cage that was, that you create yourself. So it's about reflecting on what could be holding you back, reflecting on how you could be holding yourself back, and how your thoughts can be manifesting your reality and how negative thinking and fears can be holding you back. And this could be a fear that other people are just not as excited about something that you are, but it will come. And, and you know, you know, yeah, look at that. The nine of cups. So it's like your dreams will be manifesting. Okay. There is a dream a blessing that is trying to enter your life, but with the, the Eight of Cups, she doesn't, I'm sorry, the uh, Eight of Swords, she does not see it because she's wearing a blindfold. And she's also, you know, tied up. And she can untie herself, right? And so it's like, this is all about you having the ability to manifest whatever this is and, and bring this blessing almost from out of the sky and bring it into your life and lasso it to you, you have that power. But your guides are wanting you to reflect on something that may be holding you back. With the Eight of Swords, this is a self-imposed restriction, possibly due to fear. Okay, I can't tell you the specifics of the fear. You know. If you don't know, this is about getting in touch with your intuition and really doing the inner work to discover, you know, what these inner fears are and how to overcome them and realizing that it's kind of just, they're an illusion. Fear is an illusion. But I see a blessing wanting to come into your life. Is there anything else for Aquarius? Let's see. Are there any other messages for Aquarius? Okay. Success, the world, fixed energy, your energy. Okay, so there's an achievement of some kind. Okay, you have a flyer. Ace of Cups, your spirit rising, okay, something's rising, I'm getting success, okay, now this, for some of you guys with the world, this is being known worldwide, okay, those of you that are trying to manifest that with the Ace of Cups, this is just having all of those feel-good emotions to already knowing that something is for you and knowing that you can attain this, will manifest it into your life. I'm also getting a, the beginning of a new relationship coming towards you. This is a successful connection. There's a sense of belonging here, okay? Especially those of you that don't feel like you belong right now. Six of Pentacles. So there is assistance, support coming towards you. Some of you guys, this is uh, you getting a job, okay, that you might have recently interviewed for. That's very specific, but I am seeing that, a job getting offered to you. But I'm seeing some type of assistance. 
if you have, if you're uncertain which way to go, some of you guys with this uh, hanged man energy, you might feel like you lack direction or you're uncertain. You may, I just, I feel like it's a matter of perspective shifts. Like when we see that we are self-sabotaging, we need to take notice of that. You're in more control than you realize with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, especially when it comes to your success. And when it comes to your love life. Some of you guys, if, if this is a matter of you being single Aquarius and you're trying to attract new love, you may need to go within and have a, you might have a limiting, uh, you might be limiting the, your potential when it comes to meeting suitors, possibly needing to move on from something or needing to change your environment with the six of swords. Some of you guys, it's a matter of healing inner wounds healing from something, surrendering to complete healing and moving past something so you can change the way you view love for some of you or change the way you view success and how you are very much so deserving of success. But I'm seeing a new successful connection. Could be in business or love coming towards you. Pisces energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Okay. Okay. Could be a Cancer for some of you, a Gemini. Anything else for Aquarius? Anything else? Okay, well, let's pull you an angel number then. And we'll move on to the singles. Be an angel number, please, for Aquarius. So you're in alignment with whatever it is you want. It's about staying balanced and staying in alignment though, okay? Your card says, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. You're manifesting a major blessing. So I feel like spirit wants you to maintain the same energy. You could be seeing 222 a lot. It means you're on track. Even when we think we're not on track, we're still on track, okay? We have to remember that... When we feel we're making a mistake or when we feel like we have failed or when we feel like something is just not working out, often enough that's directing us towards somewhere else, okay? But Spirit's saying you're in alignment with a major blessing and you need to keep on nourishing this manifestation with words, feelings, and action. Two, two, two. We're going to move into the singles reading. Let's see. Messages for my single Aquarius. Is there anyone single Aquarius to know? Okay, home. A lot of you guys are going to have the ability to pay off a property in your lifetime. I'm getting, I'm getting living alone as well. If you're going through a divorce. It also looks like you, those of you that are fighting for your residence, I feel like you'll get that in the divorce. That's very specific, but home's all about uh, your foundation, your stability. Single Aquarians, you seem pretty stable in the month of November. Look at this work. Make sure you balance, you're balancing your work home life. Okay, don't, um, don't forget to play when necessary, but also uh, make sure you're getting work done. But I'm definitely seeing that you guys are focused on your job in the month of November. You could be a real estate agent or uh, those of you could be going to get your license for real estate. To become a real estate agent, I mean. I'm also getting, if you're a real estate agent, you could be, I'm definitely seeing you show a house. Let's see, courting man, you could be meeting somebody. <laughs> 
this is very specific, but I'm getting if you're a real estate agent, I see you meeting someone through selling them a house or buying a house from them. Or you're meeting a real estate agent. Anything else? Mature man. So this could be male or female, but it's definitely somebody that might be older than you or they're mature for their age. I feel like this person is very stable. For sure. What do they like about Aquarius? Watch all y'all start running to open houses now. <laughs> okay, what do they like about you? Uh, that you work alone. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They like how you can carry yourself alone. You don't come across as someone who needs help of others. Okay, they like that. Okay. Wow, Ten of Cups. Person... So you look like someone that has a lot to offer them. That's why they're so attracted to you. You come across as emotionally balanced, okay? Self-sufficient with the three of pentacles in reverse. But somebody wants a relationship with you in November. Okay, who is this? What are they like? Will of Fortune? They could be another fixed sign. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Why are they the Will of Fortune? It's going to feel like meeting this person was fate. It's going to feel like the universe really played a huge part in this. It's just one of those things where you instantly know. Like, Ace of Pentacles? Look at that. We have fate's luck on these two cards. It's it's literally going to feel like you guys are meant to be. That's how you're going to know who they are. It's just going to be right. And I feel like they're coming towards you in November. We have the Queen of Cups. A very gentle lover. This person's very in touch with their emotions. Emotionally intelligent. intelligent. That's why they admire your emotional intelligence. They admire your joyfulness, too. You come across as someone who's genuinely just happy with themselves and confident. Page of Cups. They really like you. Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Eight of Cups. They, can, they feel like you're hard to get. I feel like that makes them like you even more. Okay? They do feel like you keep people at arm's length. You keep a healthy distance. What does Aquarius need to surrender? I'm getting a, a destined meeting. That Wheel of Fortune is like fate stepping in and bringing you two together. A lot of you guys with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, you could have to change your routine. There may be a routine or like, you know, a schedule change that brings you two together and that's why it feels like fate. Or it's kind of like you weren't going to go somewhere and then you decide to go and then you two meet. I am getting like a meet cute with the page of cups. This person though, uh, they're, they're sensing your, you, you come across as very joyful, but they're also sensing that you're kind of distant and you're a loner. What does Aquarius uh, need to surrender? Single Aquarius, what do they need to surrender in November? Okay. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It says it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So we can't force people to heal. We can't force people to become better people. All we can do is love them and send them, a, a, you know, send them on their way. Wish them well. But, I mean, w you know, we can't teach people how to treat us. We can't fix people. We can't. We can't tell people they need to heal because they're still not going to get it. It has to be something that happens within them. Give me one more. It's like all we can do is be ourselves. All we can do is love people and be ourselves. And that's it. And worry about ourselves and our own healing and our own journeys. And hope that the universe, you know, of course, you know, the universe is going to be sending us people along the way that are lined up with our frequency because 222 came out in your whatever comes out section you are in perfect alignment with everything that is in your life right now Aquarius and so it's like 
as you raise your frequency, you're going to be attracting higher frequency people into your life. And there may be some people from the past or some people that you're dealing with now that you're wondering, okay, what happened? Why are they not in my life anymore? Well, it's because they fell out because they're not on the same frequency as you anymore. They're in a whole nother reality. And they have to meet you in your reality if they want to be with you or be around you. Anything else for Aquarius? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Okay, so be on the lookout for a fixed sign in November or a Sagittarius. I have strong water energy here too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We're going to take a look at those of you that are dealing with a past person or you're currently having issues with someone. This is the person on your mind. Who is Aquarius talking about? Only take what resonates. Who is Aquarius thinking about? Some of y'all are done with a Capricorn or a Leo. Could be a Libra, Justice in Reverse. Somebody lied. They got caught in a web of lies. web of lies i'm getting like somebody lied to protect another lie to protect another lie to just keep all these lies going and then they just kind of got stuck in this web of lies three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah they kind of like this is someone that screwed themselves over from so much lying okay like they could be a pathological liar i don't know i'm not a psychologist but it's definitely somebody who has restricted themselves in life due to so much lying more. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So you're not talking to this person or there's very little communication, surface level communication because of all the lying. But I'm just getting a lot of you guys are not even speaking to them with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. You, I'm also getting, if you're, if you haven't already, you're kind of just done trying to figure it out. It's almost like you're about to move into this energy, Aquarius, where you're done trying to figure out why someone lied or why someone did what they did. You're just, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, you're, you're just kind of giving up on, on trying to figure out the whys, okay? Or why somebody is the way they are. How, how does this person see Aquarius? How are they seeing you in the month of November? They're the Empress, the King of Wands. They see you as maturing. Some of you guys, they're under the impression that you're going after something you want, a goal. They could be stalking your social media or you maybe told this person something or they're aware of a goal you want to attain and they're, they're thinking you're a go-getter or you're staying goal-oriented. Some of you guys, they, they just see you as very attractive. If that doesn't resonate, the Empress, the King of Wands, they just see you as someone they're very attracted to. More Libra energy, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very attracted to you, to your appearance. That's uh, that Emperor, King of Wands, that's our romantic interest. So you guys can have children with this person. You don't have to, you don't have to have children with this person, but some of you guys, there may be kids involved. feel about Aquarius right now. They're stressed out. Ten of Wands. They feel burdened. Why? Tell me more about this. This for this is specific, but some of you guys, if you're divorcing someone, you know, they're stressed out because they're thinking about where they're going to live, uh, you know, getting access to their stuff. They're, they're really stressing out about the move, about the, the life shift. Not all of you are divorcing, of course, um, but there could be a living situation that is 
being changed and this person is stressing out about that. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, like their routine is getting disrupted and that stresses them out. Their life's routine, their work's routine. They're avoiding this lesson though, guys. They're avoiding looking at what they have contributed. Like it's almost like this person tries to ignore why they keep putting themselves in these tough predicaments. And somebody's very interested in you, Aquarius. Okay, there is a strong attraction here. But they don't want to give you any attention. They're trying to avoid you. They're trying to avoid giving you attention, recognition. Why is that? I mean, I'm, I'm to protect their own ego, of course. Judgment card. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. It's almost like somebody wants to punish you for your decisions, but you made your, this is crazy y'all. So it's like somebody really wants to talk to you. They really, they're really romantically attracted to you. It's a lot of you guys, they have seen some type of success that you've had or that you have matured. If you've recently had children, I'm getting their spying on you and they know about that. These are just some little specific messages that are coming out. Now, the reason why they don't want to give you attention is because they're trying to punish you. But it's only punishing themselves because they're the ones who want, like, mentally, they're giving you all kinds of attention. They try to avoid you with the Eight of Pentacles, but they're very, they're, the attraction is too strong. But it's like with the Judgment card... <laughs> Six of Wands, Two of Swords. They want to act like they're not paying any attention, but they are. And the reason why they're doing this? To punish you. Because you guys didn't give them what they wanted. Or you're not going easy on this person. Anything else? Five of Cups in Reverse, the Hanged Man in Reverse. They want to come out of the cold with you. They want to come out of the cold with you. Pisces energy. Yeah, they want to rebuild, work this out. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They are spying. They, they watch you. They watch you. Two of Swords. Some of you guys are like, well, how are they watching me? They're blocked. Or they blocked me. Or I blocked them. Or I don't have any social media. They Page of Swords, they are figuring out. They're getting some type of information somehow about you. Let's see, what's their hidden truth? What is their hidden truth towards Aquarius? What is their hidden truth towards Aquarius? I'm starting to understand our connection. So how I interpret that from your reading, it's like this person is understanding that they can't run away from you. They're, they're unable to get away from you. Even when they run away physically, you're still there. Because, you know, there's something they're not, they're not paying attention to. And they're going about the healing process all wrong. I am afraid to contact you. There's that ego. I remember every detail of that day. So there's a specific day or several days this person reminisces about. It could be a date uh, that sticks out to you. Those of you that have a particular memory about this person, they remember every detail about it as well. All right, we're going to do cross watchers. 
can click to the timestamp if you would like to skip ahead from all the shuffling. Alright, this is Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Only take what resonates and leave. If it doesn't resonate, leave the message for someone else. You can always check your other signs for a full picture. Take the pieces that resonate and leave the rest. These are all general. Aries through Pisces for my cross watchers, please. If you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries has romantic feelings for you. I'm also getting, guys, in particular, you could be connecting with an Aries that has some serious mommy issues, okay? That's just a side message, but I am getting an Aries having romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is confused. They have uh, different directions they could go, and they're not quite sure what decision to make. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Seven of Swords, this Gemini is being sneaky. Clarify. Ten of Wands. This Gemini is skating around the truth. They're they're not taking responsibility for their actions. I don't I don't see a Gemini taking responsibility for their actions anytime soon, if ever. Uh, if you're dealing with a Gemini right now. <laughs> if you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer is trying to hold back Two of Wands, but they want to reconnect. I'm getting a Cancer is desperately trying to come across as mature, but they may be going about it the wrong way. But there is a Cancer that really wants to connect with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is very secretive. They're hiding something from you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants to reach out or ask for your phone number. There might be a new Virgo entering your life in November that is wanting to speak with you. There's a high interest from a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra spies on you. Page of Swords, they spy and spy some more. They want to communicate. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is held back in November. But they have feelings for you, but they hold them, they hold them in. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want a new beginning with you. This Sagittarius is very interested in you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn is moving very slowly, but they're coming your way. They want to communicate. They have feelings for you. It could be a new Capricorn entering your life for some of you. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, this Aquarius is just focusing on work. I'm getting they're trying to ignore the situation altogether. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces would like to communicate. They want to clear the air with you, or there is a new Pisces that wants to communicate with you. But you're dealing with a Pisces where there's some issues. They want to clear the air. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. I hope you got some clarity out of this. If you did, I do appreciate you hitting that like button. And until next time, bye.